on a scale, we've, uh, we've, we've also worked on the scale of, of the basket, and we've been looking at weaving for a long time, as a number of people have. And we were recently uh, fortunate enough to take it to the, kind of, to the next level in the form of a collaboration with uh, Terrell B. Johnson, a uh, celebrated Native American basket weaver, the Hona O'odham tribe of southwestern Arizona. Uh, with him, we put together the show at Artist Space last spring as part of the Architecture and Design series over there. Uh, we worked together to create um, 13 or so baskets um, that were uh, most were prim primarily collaborative that kind of displayed a, uh, a blend of curated techniques and traditional weaving techniques. Um, and all of which kind of uh, looked at this, this shared binary notion of nature of, of computation and weaving, and also our kind of shared practice of pattern making through design. Um, we can just kind of quickly run through some of the results of this thing. And in order to give the show shape, um, he brought some stuff in and gave them a floor, we did some stuff. But most of them were, were collaborative, and this is this is a shot from within uh, while we were shredding inside of our office in the last two weeks before uh, before, the, before the show happened. Um, where Tara was kind of on site, and we were we were, we were kind of working closely with him to to meld these two practices to talk. Um, talk closely and intensely and to work side by side. Sure. Is this better? And um, in a way it produced a number of constructions that reinvigorated both of our both of our practices. It's an ongoing collaboration. Um, we go to we go to keep we go to keep on developing it. Um, on the scale of, of the building we We've been interested in, um, you know, very kind of sophisticated techniques, but also very dumb techniques. And hacking is one of our first, one of our favorites. And it's it's uh, it's 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 interesting and kind of dumb because it, it it it's a tectonic that produces stability um, just through adjacency. And we we developed this uh, idea in this project for a log cabin. Uh, in a competition for which we were finalists, hosted by UC Berkeley and the National Park Service for a, uh, a mountain hut. We located in the Sierra Mountains, Nevada Mountains, um, a kind of back country way station for hunters and campers. And the program called for the replacement of it at a historic log cabin that had burned down on the site. And our initial impulse was to replace that log cabin with a Another log cabin. Do the uh, but if we were going to do that, what we wanted to do was turn the process of building a log cabin on its head. And if the, the log cabin is usually built by cutting logs and stacking them. We wanted to see what would happen if you stack them and then cut them. Uh, so we, we produced these kind of material studies uh, where, you can, where we released the kind of nascent shapes inside. Ovals and other shapes, some board-like shapes, um, and that kind of gave us this our our material strategy, our our, our facade strategy, uh, and that along with a kind of siding strategy, in order to take advantage of, of solar angles and and attractive views, uh, gave us two different treatments for the different sides of the building. Here on the north side, where you want to reduce heat loss. The facade is mostly opaque, except along the kind of bedroom bar, which will allow views out to the, to the landscape. On the south side of the building, we took a, took a different cat next, um, where it was it, the, the building simply opened up uh, in graded fashion from the back to the front, from the more um, perfunctory and private areas up into the more open, the communal and public areas.
So the next scale up is dealing with uh, planning at, at a certain scale. Uh, we were interested in spiraling as well as, a, as an organizational technique. Uh, next. And uh, this is a competition, it was an ideas competition for the city of Las Vegas. Uh, a new entry gateway to Las Vegas. Uh, the competition is actually asked for a new sign into Las Vegas. And we figured if Vegas is a, a city that kind of works at some level like a sign, then it'd be okay to propose a sign that works somewhat like a, like a city. So it's a very large 10 mile spiral that loops around and through itself. And it's a next it's a spiral that anticipates Vegas at, at the speed of car. So as you're going around uh, next in this loop, uh, you go through these Vegas-like activities uh, very quickly at the speed of the automobile. So you can play roulette while you're in your car. Uh, you can there's a kind of slot machine uh, that you can play with your automobile. Uh, there's also an observation ramp, and then the, the famous Welcome to Las Vegas, Hope You Have a Nice Stay uh, sign there uh, next. And what we, uh, aside from programmatically basically just building up a road that spiraled onto itself, we wanted to use the spiraling uh, techniques to yield structure, so to make a road that can build on itself and climb up to form this observation column. So uh, it's, uh, it's basically a, uh, it's a double uh, helix that goes up and down, and as it sort of oscillates uh, somewhat randomly, it kind of rests on itself. This is uh, a shot leaving Las Vegas. Uh, putting the camera onto the bird, uh, uh, it, it, it gave us sort of one understanding of how you could deal with natural uh, phenomena and the observation of, uh, of things that are out there in order to build tools for your uh, for your practice. Um, but it was so one level was about that, and, and this you know background in a lot of this presentation is is kind of our interest in in, in building custom tools and, and and approaching architecture through a sort of procedural uh, aspect. But it's also about understanding that you can you can use these projects and techniques to get inside of things. So like inside of the dynamics. So attaching a camera onto a bird is really about getting kind of inside of the block. And the next project we did, which is for um, this is the, the latest project, uh, it's called Color Shift, and uh, it uses the largest video billboard in, in the U.S. Uh, single span uh, video billboard of LEDs. And it's very much about trying to get inside of uh, the dynamic uh, RGB space. So uh, here's the billboard uh, in uh, New York. It's, uh, it's, it comes out of a, uh, a factory that Fresh Direct uh, facilities. Fresh Direct is the online grocery. I'm sure all of you know. And they have uh, this billboard here. It just sort of shoots right out of there. Um, right out of their warehouse, uh, which is a pretty big facility. Next. And the, the billboard uh, faces the Long Island Expressway, which uh, goes into the Midtown Tunnel. But the thing about this billboard is uh, it's its unprecedented scale. Let's go back one. These billboards here are kind of regular sized billboards that flank the Long Island Expressway, and they are standard size. Uh, next. Uh, and the standard size billboard is about uh, 46 feet wide. Uh, the jump up one is about 60 feet wide. This billboard is 90 feet wide and 65 feet tall, and it's, and it's video, uh, and it towers uh, 165 feet in the air, and you can you know, you can put whatever you want in there. So uh, we approached um, uh, Fresh Direct with this idea to use the billboard uh, as a, um, I mean, they, they're very sensitive about what kind of content you put on there because of its visibility and also because uh, the New York City uh, 